My name is Eduardo Mansur. I'm the director of the FAO Office of Climate Change, Biodiversity and Environment. This inception workshop comes at a crucial time as Cuba, a small island developing state, faces the dual challenge posed by the COVID-19 pandemic and climate change. We know that small island developing states are particularly vulnerable to the impact of climate change because of their restricted geographical area, isolation, and exposure to climate risks. Which is why now, with the problems exacerbated by the pandemic, we need to push forward for a green and resilient recovery. This is a project of about $120 million with about $38 million in grants and $82 million in co-financing. At this scale, it has enormous potential to be transformational and help Cuba make its agriculture sector more inclusive, sustainable, and resilient to the impacts of climate change. Despite the many difficulties caused by the pandemic, the IRIS project got off to a quick start just three months after its approval in March, which shows how committed the government and all stakeholders are to climate action in Cuba. This inception workshop marks the first step towards achieving real impact, both in terms of reducing emissions from forestry and land use, representing around 2.6 million tons of CO2 equivalent that will be avoided through sustainable agricultural practices. The project will also deliver significant socioeconomic and environmental co-benefits. About 52,000 family farmers, almost half of them women, will benefit directly from the project, which facilitates the transition towards climate resilient production. Local agriculture systems will become more resilient with the introduction of climate smart agroforestry, silvopastoral approach on more than 35,000 hectares of land. Restoring productive landscapes and preserving ecosystem services will combat soil erosion, increase access to water, and improve food and nutrition security. This is particularly important in this year when we launched the United Nations Decade on Ecosystem Restoration 2021-2030.